What's good YouTube? Today is the third and final video for the roll bar. In this episode, we modify the interior to fit the roll bar. Starting from the front, we have the carpet that sits behind the seats, a medium fuel tank cover, the small fuel tank cover, the big fuel tank cover, the two side trim pieces that sits in front of the seat belt, the insulation that sits on top of the fuel tank, and then the carpet that sits on top of that. Let's start with the easy piece. Next is the big fuel tank cover. And our first interference is this hole here. It's supposed to go back there, but the roll bar is in the way, so we're going to chop that corner off. And there we go. Now to find the right bolt. And now the medium sized fuel cover. And the next thing is to put this big, 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 big black mat onto the parcel tray. Now because the roll bar extends out from the parcel tray, what I'm going to do is measure the distance between that entry, that entry, and then cut out squares so that it can slide in. And I know that this little corner here, this little box section here, fits into that thing over there. So I'm gonna. I know that's the rear of the black mat and the carpet. Um, it should stay relatively the same from here to here. I'll keep this distance the same, but from this corner onwards, just chop that square off. Two hundred mils. 200 mils, so that's a square, 500 mil. I'll need to go 96 centimeters to 75, which means I need to cut off there. Let's give it a go. Looks pretty good. I wonder if I can reuse this. Kind of look pretty dumb. Yeah, they look kind of silly. I'm gonna chuck these away. I was getting a bit ahead of myself. Before I put the uh, black mat in, I will need to transfer the cuts onto the top carpet. So from here, you can see those two little loopholes of glue. And if we look at the carpet, well, the black mat rather, those two loopholes are there too. So, I'm going to flip this guy upside down and then put him on here and then trace it out like what I did on the other half of the black mat.
And to fix this part, it's a simple cut around the base of the carpet. Once that's cut out and nice and neat, put back your seat, put back this backing carpet here, and then replace all your plastic trim. Those of you who follow me on Instagram know that I got my hardtop painted. It is a metallic black done by my friend Dominic. I wasn't sure whether to go with the BRG, a black or a tan, and I thought tan was a bit too loud, so I went with the black. Um, I didn't go with the BRG green because all these panels are different color, and trying to get the top to match the, the body was probably not a good idea. So to finish off this video, I'm going to do another install, and it's going on here. Bam! Coming straight from Latvia, we have... I already opened it up, by the way. A ducktail spoiler. Once you're done with the tape, your duck bill is now installed. Just kidding. When you're happy with how the duck bill looks, use a pair of scissors to cut the tape between the boot and the spoiler. You will use those two bits to align your spoiler when you put it on top of the boot. Paper towel and some cleaning alcohol. And the next step is to prep the spoiler. I've got with me some 3M double sided tape. This is used for outdoor exterior so I think it'll be good enough. What I'm going to do now is just clean off all the random bits inside the spoiler so that I can get a good attachment for the double sided tape. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with the bottom bit, but this time I might just do little pieces spread out. There we go. So we got one, two, three, four gaps, which I think will be alright, because this is not on top. Um, the more important one is this one up here, which I did first, so hopefully there's enough adhesion on there. And because I had a spare there that I cut extra bit, I'm just going to put it on top of the brake light. Now we'll move this to the boot and hopefully it will go on pretty sweet. All right, the moment of truth. Before I remove all the red backing tape, I'm going to practice how I'm gonna put it in. So these five alignment tapes before, push it all the way in and then press firmly on top so that it makes contact with the boot lid and then push firmly on the back so that sticks on the back. Okay, here we go. Line up the middle. And after much fiddling, the ducktail is now installed. If I were to do it again, I definitely sand down the edge of the fiberglass. Um, the reason is I think when they molded it they had a little lip that sits this way so the fiberglass would come up a bit and the tape would sit in this hole and not be in contact, not be the lowest point of where it sticks to the boot. So if I were to do that again I'd definitely get a piece of sandpaper or file just to take that lip off so that it'd be flush with the boot. I don't know why you are so critical. 